This week, we're going to talk about the Shema, one of the beloved prayers of the Jewish nation. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord with your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. The first words of the Shema reads, Hear, O Israel. And there's something about hearing. The word Shema means hearing, but it goes beyond that. We all have had this experience when somebody's talking to us and we hear the sounds, but we aren't actually listening. I remember one time, my daughter, she was telling me something and I wasn't paying attention. In her four-year-old voice, she shouted, Tatay, are you listening? And that can happen to us. We can hear, but not respond. The call of the Shema to hear is more than just to hear the sound of somebody's voice. It's more than just to hear the sound of what God is saying, but to respond to it. In fact, another meaning of the word Shema is to obey. It gives us insight to the kind of hearing that God invites us to kind of hearing that responds and obeys. We know this because every single day, God calls us and invites us to trust, to love, to live, to serve. And this invitation is more than just sounds into our ears. Hopefully, it's an invitation to respond and to obey. So today, God is speaking. He is inviting us Will we listen? Will we respond? Will we obey? Have a great day.